Today's topic is your ego. Okay, Mr. Ego, you've heard me talk about the ego before. He sits right down in your subconscious and his whole job is to keep you safe. And that includes in business. And so there are three very, very strategic and potent things that Mr. Ego will whisper into your ears, okay, to keep you safe, but to not keep you growing, okay, that will trip up even the best entrepreneur. So there's three of these. I'm going to cover them today. You definitely don't want to miss this because you want to be on the lookout for how Mr. Ego is keeping you safe, keeping you in the same position and really preventing you from bathing. I'm going to use the word bathing. Okay. In how amazing and abundant and transformative group coaching program can be. Okay. It will definitely afford you more time, more money, more freedom, and more impact. For me, it's the perfect lifestyle business with purpose. I love it. Okay. So the first one, the very first thing that the ego will tell you, okay, this is super popular. Watch for this to pop up. Actually, let me describe how the ego works just briefly. So everyone is on the same page. Here is your brain. Okay. Here's your mind, your mind. You have your unconscious or wait, you have your conscious. And you have your subconscious. Okay. Your ego lives down here in your subconscious. 95% of everything you do during the day is ran from your subconscious. Pre-programmed beliefs from your parents, your community, your upbringing, like however old you are, it's 40 years worth of computer programs. And that's just kind of how you're functioning 95% of your day, 5% of your day. You're acting with intent, okay, and with a goal. But the problem is ego manages 95% of your day. So when you get one of these little lines that the ego uses to protect you, so for example, tech, I'm going to write this one in red, actually. I'm going to write this one in red. And I don't have an eraser. And I don't think my finger is actually going to be the best way to do it today. Okay. Okay. So when you have, I'm going to grab the red marker. When you have yourself a belief said tech overwhelm, technology, okay? And what this looks like is the ego says stuff like this. You are not technically savvy enough to run an online coaching business. So you have got to figure out click funnels and Kajabi and ads, and you will never be able to do that because you can't even program your cell phone, okay? Or it says, listen, before you can have an abundant and amazing group coaching business, you need 25 amazing funnels converting and a million people in your audience and like technology, like all this email and stuff like that. Here's the situation with technology. Okay. Take note. So this is what happens. Ego whispers. <laughs> You're a tech dummy. You will never be able to run an online business. Okay. That shoots up through your conscious and you start acting on I'm a tech dummy. So everywhere you look, you're like, I'm a tech dummy. I can't do this, but I need tech to grow my coaching business. So you actually don't show up doing what you need to do. Does that make sense? Give me a yes in the comments if that makes sense. When we bring up straight up in your coaching business, do not add any complicated tech. This, in means, this includes your website. This includes funnels. This includes ads. There is no need for any of it until you have one-on-one -on -one clients that you can count on and a couple iterations of your group coaching program till you have a proven process for onboarding people into your group coaching program. That's when technology really starts to matter because here's the situation guys with technology. Take my word for it. Okay. If you're wrapped up in my web developers, not getting me my website, so I cannot launch my coaching business. I'm going to tell you right now, that ego is playing tricks on you. You don't even need a website. People spend too much time in tech, okay? And they're not doing the work. Because if you are selling transformational coaching programs, which you all are, if you're selling transformational coaching programs, the, the most potent way, okay, you want to add one ingredient to increase the potency of how many people sign up with you, 
this intimacy. When people, when people enroll in group coaching programs, it is because they feel seen and heard. And anytime you add technology to the mix, okay, the last time a landing page made me feel seen and heard, never. The last time a voice memo in a DM made me feel seen and heard, always. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? So speaking of this, technology, straight up. What I, the philosophy, I, this is like literally how I teach people in my group coaching program to enroll clients. Social media, okay, to a thing called an I, an invite only event, invite only, okay? This invite only event is a amazingly powerful webinar structure that sets you up and allows you, it has been proven to sell transformational coaching businesses. Now this is like a, this is a, it's a strategy and I teach it and you present your transformational coaching program within the invite only uh, template. Then you get enrollment calls and then you get enrollees. Straight up, didn't say anywhere in here, you send them to a website with 25 videos, okay? Or you send them to 25 emails and then a calendar and then a call to action. Nowhere did I say that. I'm marketing on social media. I invite some of my best followers to a super awesome webinar that clearly tells them the transformation I can make. I ask them if they wanna get on an enrollment call to figure out if we're a good match and I enroll them. You can build a million dollar business on this. One million. Okay, you can build a million dollar business on that much technology, okay? Speaking of invite only, if that interests you, if you're like, ooh, what's in that invite only event, okay? It is such a potent strategy and such an easy strategy and it's, it works for anybody regardless of your audience size, okay? It's an amazing, awesome strategy. Now, there's some nuances to the strategy. Number one, tech overwhelm, don't fall for it, okay? Number two, write this down, niching. Oh my gosh, niching, oh, okay? The ego will just sneak up and get you stuck on this all day long. What you need to know is the riches are in the niches. The only and the best way to sell transformational coaching is a very, very um, detailed, okay? You really are, you gotta go with the niche, you gotta go deep on a niche, and you gotta make sure your messaging talks to your niche, and you gotta make sure you're positioned right for your niche. But this is where people get stuck. You guys are experts, and you are multi-passionate. So when it comes time to niche down, you're like, how am I ever supposed to do that? I have so many passions. And so people like you, world changers, transformational coaches, they'll say, but I can help kids and I can help adults and I can help everyone. And I can help these people because like, I am so passionate about it. Everyone needs to know my message. So I'm not going to niche down. And not only that, I have so many niches, okay? I don't even know what I want to coach on. And so you will get stuck there over and over and over again. My biggest takeaway from this is decide on a niche, okay? Market on that niche and like focus on it. Pick a niche. This is what happens with niching, quickly. You've seen me draw this time and again, but it looks like this. It's no different. If this is oil, I don't think oil makes waves, but we'll pretend it does. If you're drilling for group coaching program oil, okay, and you go to this niche and you only make it that far, and then you go to this niche and you only make it that far, and then you go to this niche and you only make it that far, before you hit oil, you have to stick with a niche and perfect it till you hit oil. That's what I got to say about niching. Three, three things you're not supposed to believe about the, the ego, okay? You need tech to build a successful group coaching business. Two, you need uh, uh, your niche isn't right. Anything about niching, 
Okay. And the third one, and this one is important and I'm dying to know what you guys think about this one. Okay. This is tough. This is also tough for me to, to work around. Are you ready? Ego disguised. Are you ready for this? As intuition. Oh, okay. This is a toughie, you guys. Watch out for this. As a coach, people who come to me and they say, Lindsay, okay, now I am a very, like, I intuition is definitely an ingredient to a successful coaching business. Do not get me wrong, okay? And the fact it is so important, and so many of the people that are attracted to me, and myself included, like, I hold intuition in the highest regard. Okay. Trust me. It's the compass for what you want to be doing. You have to learn to know that the ego is telling you that's your intuition when the ego is actually just scared about you raising your prices. Okay. And the ego is scared about you raising your prices because it wants to keep you safe. And when you raise your prices, like a lot of amazing things can happen. Okay. And so you're going to find resistance there. And anywhere in your business, you find resistance, you find growth, period. And so the intuition excuse of like lowering your prices or of like getting a coach or of like not niching down right now or of like putting things off because my intuition is telling me you've got to watch for that. And that is not something I can tell you. Okay. Because again, I regard intuition, but know this. I have tried to drive my business on intuition alone, okay? And it does not cut it. You, number one, you need a really good strategy and then check in with your intuition that the strategy feels good. Like that is my biggest piece of advice. Don't ask Mr. Intuition for what should I do here, okay? Like, uh, cause intuition will just ask ego, hey, what do you think I should do here? Instead, okay, make decisions. Step into your power, okay? Do not give your power over to the intuition. And instead, make a decision. I'm raising my prices. And then really, really see if the strategy or what you're trying to do works, okay? Feels good, but make sure it's not fear. Make sure it's not fear. So those are the three things. You got tech overwhelm, summary, you don't need a lot of tech to build a million dollar coaching business. Number two, niching. You do need a niche to build a million dollar coaching business. Yes, even you. And finally, ego disguises intuition. The ego uses intuition to keep you small, keep you playing small, keep you scared, keep you not getting out of your comfort zone. And it says it's all in favor of our favorite tool of guidance, intuition. So be aware, be very aware.